Okay, we found a secondary problem is I had my Yezu radio connected to the Bias T because I apparently blew the finals up in my $3,500 Kenwood and I needed a radio use. But when I disconnected the power, the, the backlight was still on and some of these other lights were flashing here. And I would disconnect the antenna terminal and it was okay. And when I put the antenna terminal back on the radio, weird lights started the light. So I suspected the Bias T and I looked at it and it has a short that's supposed to block the DC and I have the ohm meter on and you can hear it beeping it's 0.1 ohms it's got a dead short somewhere so I open it up I'm looking I can't really see but it is definitely shorted uh, unless the capacitors are shorted uh, but there's three positions on a switch that are all shorted together and I don't know what's causing it so these capacitors are supposed to block this but all three of these inner terminals here are shorted together and I don't know why. Actually, you can, uh, uh, let's see, we don't know why that is, but this is definitely shorted. Is something shorted in here? So I guess I'm going to have to open this up to see what the problem is. This is really unfortunate. And it's possible that feeding that 12 volts down there uh, somehow could have destroyed the finals or something on the, the uh, front end of this radio. I don't know, but we will see.